Have you missed it? Yeah, us too. Now we can go back. The Missouri Botanical Garden is reopening to the general public for the first time since COVID-19 forced its temporary closure three months ago. We took a look around during member preview week and relished the abundance of lilies, roses, and other seasonal blooms. But we couldn't help lamenting what we missed during the spring. The garden stepped up with dramatic drone and ground level footage that included crab apple blossoms, daffodils at their peak, and don't forget the tulips. It was really hard for the garden to be closed for so long, especially during spring, which is one of the most beautiful times to come to the garden. Botanical Garden spokeswoman Katherine Martin. We're right here in front of the water lilies, and these are the Victoria water lilies, which are uh, one of our most iconic plants. They grow to be very large in size. Last summer we had one reach about 92 inches across. We're trying to beat that this summer. Visitor activity may have been on hold, but there's no rest for the Botanical Gardens horticulture team. They've had to operate with reduced staffing levels and minus assistance from a dedicated group of volunteers. And for garden fans wondering what's been happening behind the scenes, there are virtual tours like this one taped in April with senior manager of nurseries, Derek Lyle. In this house, we have a lot of the tropical plant material that typically gets used in seasonal display. Uh, containers, so a lot of crotons. Visitors will find things not quite as they left them before the closure. For starters, they'll have to make reservations for specific time periods. The garden will be closed on Mondays until further notice to allow more time for additional deep cleanings. Those visiting in groups will be limited to 10 people for social distancing purposes. Walking paths are either marked one way or they're blocked off completely. Nearly all the structures on the grounds, including the Kemper Center for Home Gardening, are off limits. And yes, that means you can't go into the Climatron either. But there are plenty of clues that point to an even more glorious garden in the future. The Lucy and Stanley Lapata Prairie Garden, for example, is getting a makeover. The garden recreates a portion of the native prairie that once existed across Missouri. We found repair crews tuck pointing the Linnaean house, which has been emptied of all its greenery. When restoration is completed, the Linnaean house will return to its earlier incarnation as a conservatory protecting orange trees and other delicate plants in cold weather. Last but certainly not least, there's evidence of the Jack C. Taylor Visitor Center in the works. It's scheduled to open in two years. Until then, we can bask in the splendor of a world-renowned institution, a horticultural jewel in St. Louis's crown.